The ocean is a vast and dangerous entity at the best of times because of its unpredictable and vengeful tides that can cause entire crowds to disappear without a trace. Nobody knows how many secrets lie captured underneath the surf, and one of the greatest mysteries of the sea is the untold numbers of undiscovered creatures who have made the sunless depths their home. From sea monsters to glowing algae, the beings that lurk beneath the waves are the things of legends. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some ocean mysteries. Octopus are walking on shore. Octopuses are some of the most well-known sea creatures with their curious eight tentacles, incredible intelligence, camera-like eyeballs, and slimy bodies. However, a local marine guide from Wales, upon returning from a sunset dolphin watching expedition, witnessed an octopus in a place where he never expected to see one, on dry land. He reported seeing over two dozen of the creatures crawling up out of the water on the tips of their tentacles and moving onto the sand as though part of some mass migration, and soon other locals made reports of a similar nature. It is not unheard of for octopi to take a stroll outside of the water occasionally. Those that live in shallow waters near tide pools frequently use the tips of their tentacles to crawl from pool to pool in search of prey, sometimes embarking on longer stretches if they are especially unlucky in the hunt. A popular octopus at the National Aquarium of New Zealand proved his prowess as an escape artist by crawling out of his tank, across the room, down a drainage pipe and into the sea. However, scientists are baffled as to why so many of the creatures were existing in a group to such a sandy stretch of beach, one with no tide pools or chance of finding food. They breathe through gills and can only survive out of water for very short stretches of time and must remain moist in order to be able to absorb oxygen from the water on their skin, which is why they have never been known to attempt such a long stretch out of the water. Several octopuses were discovered the next morning having died after drying out too much. Scientists are baffled as to what could cause these small, hand-sized cephalopods to behave in such a dangerous manner. It is possible that a huge change in their environment, brought on by incredibly rough seas around the time that they were spotted, local pollution, or an unusually low tide, could have disorientated the octopi enough that they mistakenly clambered onto dry land. Other theories include illness or parasitic infection, although the creatures that were discovered the next morning appeared to have been in perfect health and died from drying out rather than any infection. Alarmingly, scientists don't know what has caused these octopuses to behave in this manner and are carefully studying the species for any clues. Scientists suggest that octopus could be aliens. When talk turns to potential extraterrestrial life on Earth, most minds immediately jump to conspiracy theorists and science fiction plots. Few expect to read findings from the scientific community hinting at alien life. Yet that is exactly what has recently come to light, and not in the way that you would think. A scientific paper published in 2018 in the journal Progress in Biophysics and Molecular Biology attempts to explain the origins of life on Earth and makes some startling hypotheses about the octopus, suggesting that the unusual creature possesses a genome that may have gotten its start from somewhere outside of Earth. When studying the development of species, the octopus presents a unique set of problems, which is what has prompted scientists to look beyond Earth for answers. For most species, distinctive and especially unusual features evolved slowly over millions of years, and this progression can be more or less tracked through the species. However, the striking features of cephalopods, such as their large brains and sophisticated colour and shape-changing abilities, arrived relatively suddenly in the evolutionary gene pool. A huge leap such as this is especially unlikely in the more advanced characteristics of a highly developed species. These traits burst onto the scene hundreds of millions of years ago in what is known as the Cambrian Explosion where several modern-day animal groups suddenly began to exist in a form recognisable today. Nobody knows what exactly led to this event, although there are several theories. 
One possible explanation specifically mentioned in the paper with regards to cephalopods revolves around the cryopreserving ability of space and suggests that a piece of space rock or comet hurtling towards Earth could have contained viable specimens of an early form of fertilized squid or octopus eggs and released its contents as it crashed into our atmosphere, effectively merging extraterrestrial genes with the genomes on Earth. Another hypothesizes that alien viruses crashed to Earth in a similar manner and infected the genomes of a primitive version of the squid and caused the strange evolution into what we know as octopus today. This is not the first time such a theory has been suggested with regards to the evolution of life on Earth, as it is occasionally brought up as a potential explanation for the currently genetically unexplainable. However, such a theory rests entirely upon the assumption that life does exist elsewhere in the cosmos and that these life forms could have been transported across the vastness of space on a comet until they reached Earth. Understandably, hypotheses of this nature are impossible to prove and will likely remain just a hypothesis for the years to come. But the idea that we could be sharing our planet with creatures evolved from extraterrestrials is fascinating. Deep Sea Expedition Uncovers 30 New Species, Plus Longest Known Animal It is widely accepted that the sea contains thousands of as yet undiscovered creatures. It seems that every time a research team dives to new depths, they uncover a host of new species. And the April 2020 expedition was no exception. A team of scientists from multiple institutes combined forces to document 20 dives and 180 hours of footage of the Ningaloo canyons in the Indian Ocean, captured by a deep-sea diving robot called ROV Subastian. The robot was able to penetrate to depths of over 4,500 meters and captured video of many species that had not been seen in the area before, as well as several apparently entirely new species. Among these new discoveries was a giant red hydroid, which is a relative of the coral species that appeared to be over a metre tall, as well as a new member of the Apolemia that is estimated to be over 47 metres long, making it the longest animal ever recorded. Technically, the Apolemia is made up of a giant colony of cell-like creatures called zooids and is classified as a siphonophore. Because it is made up of millions of tiny individual creatures, some would say that the Apolemia in itself cannot be classified as its own entity. However, siphonophores are particularly fascinating because each of the zooids, despite being individual creatures and not cells, act as if they were, each carrying out specific functions that contribute to the viability of the larger whole, such as food digestion, reproduction and propulsion. The Apolemia is without a doubt a creature of otherworldly proportions, as it was glimpsed in its glowing, spiralling, UFO-like feeding posture through the lenses of the diving robot. The structure is not where the extraterrestrial illusions stop either. As the zooids are described by scientists as a jelly made of millions of interconnected clones, with each clone being specialised to do one of a dozen different tasks. What makes this specimen stand out so vividly for researchers is its enormous size. Most siphonophore colonies that have been observed so far have been between 17 centimetres and 1 metre long, entirely dwarfed by the 47 metre length of this colony whose hunting spiral spread across almost a 16 metre diameter, with tendrils dangling into the water below. The discovery of such an enormous example of a species already known has excited researchers about the immense possibilities for what could lie beyond the realm of our exploration, and one of those things could be millions more giant siphonophore galaxies just like this one, simply waiting to be discovered. Among the other species that were observed in the dives into the deep sea off of Western Australia were bioluminescent squid, glass sponges, long-tailed sea cucumbers, mollusks, barnacles and squat lobsters that were previously not known to inhabit this part of the ocean. Specimens from the dives were collected and will be on display in Australia. It seems that the ocean will never fail to amaze us with its mysteries, 
and we may never truly know exactly how many unknown species lie hidden and undiscovered in the uncharted depths. The deeper and deeper we are able to dive and discover, the more we understand that legends and ancient myths of sea monsters and unbelievable sea creatures might just be closer to the truth than we ever dared to imagine. We simply must continue to probe the deep sea floor in order to understand the true nature of what exactly we are sharing our valuable planet with. But what do you make of these ocean mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.